we are about to make some homemade Coca-Cola with the Keurig cold. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here. Welcome to Bleeding Edge TV. This is the show that brings you tech news through the ads of GearLive.com. And today we've got the Keurig Cold Drink Maker. What this is, if you're unfamiliar, I mean, you, you probably know the brand Keurig, I assume. You know Keurig, the makers of coffee makers. You put the pods in, you press the button, the coffee comes out, and uh, it's pretty easy, not much mess. Now, they have a cold drink maker. So instead of making coffee, you can make soda, sports drinks, cocktail mixers, tea, craft drinks, all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna get this thing opened up and give it a try. Can it make homemade Coca-Cola that actually tastes like what you'd buy in the store? First things first, we're just gonna get this thing opened up. Let's get to it. Now there it is, pretty big unit, especially for something that's just dedicated to doing one thing to put on your counter in your kitchen, but maybe that's just me. So looking at the instructions though, it's out of the box, but the first thing I need to do is plug it in for two hours. It has to get cold, it has to refrigerate. So I have to plug it in for two hours before we can move on to the next step. So let me go ahead and just do that right now. All right, so I've got it plugged in. A couple other accessories it comes with. It comes with the priming and care pod that's basically gonna be used for setup and then maintenance every now and then. Then they also throw in two glasses, two drink maker glasses, but you need to be careful because, can you hear that? It doesn't sound to me like two solid glasses. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. It's got a ring there, and then it's broken here. There's some shards of glass inside, and then there is more glass in the box. And the other glass looks okay, but there are glass shards inside the glass. So if I didn't check that, and for some reason just made a drink and drank it, I could have been swallowing glass. It does say wash before use though, so hey, you gotta do that. All right, Keurig Cold is all primed and ready to go. We should be able to start making some delicious drinks. And let's see if they taste how they should taste. So as you see, I have a bunch of different soda brands here. There's some Dr. Pepper over here, Diet Coke, Coca-Cola, of course, there's a root beer. They even have mixers. They have a mojito and they have classic margarita mix. There's tea. We'll save Coke for last. Let's go with Flynn's Soda Shop Root Beer. All right, four pods to a box. If it's a carbonated drink, you're gonna have the drink mix in the bottom of the pod, and then the top portion is gonna be the carbonation beads. So they actually will come out carbonated. The machine is not doing a carbonation, it's all in the pod. Open this guy up, place that in there, like so. Shut it down. We should be ready to go. Let's see. All right, let's see what's up with this root beer. Smells good. Carbonation is definitely there. It's um, strong. Not stronger than what you would expect from drinking a normal root beer, but it's just kind of hard to play. I thought it might be like on the between carbonated and flat somewhere in the middle there. But no, pretty good. All right, next let's try one of the mixers. Mojito, I'm a mojito fan. Virgin mojito. See, this is perfect for me because I don't drink alcohol. I never liked alcohol, don't drink it. But I do like virgin drinks, I like virgin mojito. So let's go for it. You can make about eight in a row before needing to wait. You can also put it in party mode, which means you add ice to the reservoir to keep that water cold and then you can make more drinks in a row back to back. All right, here we go, mojito. Put that in there, hit the button. Done, let's try it out. All right, mojito time, let's see. Bottoms up. That's perfect. This is perfect. This is as good as any virgin mojito I've had in any restaurant. Obviously it's not flavored with anything else, it's just mojito flavor, but 
that's good. And then there's a mixer so you can put in whatever your vodka, whatever it is. But um, as is, that one, I'm impressed. Now, let's do the finale. Can the Keurig Cold make a great Coca-Cola, homemade Coca-Cola, or made at home? Not homemade, but it's made at home, obviously. Oh, interesting. So this one, it's actually see-through at the bottom, so you can see the Coca-Cola solution in there. So that's the mix, and again on top is the carbonation bubbles. And by the way, not all of these have carbonation. So tea, for example, this one has no carbonation in it because it's tea, so you see the size difference there. Coca-Cola, Keurig Cold, right now. It's the classic, Coca-Cola classic, guys. If you're gonna say you do Coca-Cola, you have to do Coca-Cola right. You can't mess it up. Lay it out. Carbonated water. There's a mixer going in. Did they do it? it smells like Coca-Cola right off the bat. That's Coca-Cola right there. That's it. Tastes like what you'd buy anywhere else. It's Coca-Cola, made at home in the Keurig Cold. Here's the thing, it did the job. Mojito was good, root beer was good, Coca-Cola was good. It's what you'd expect. When you put the pot in, you get your drink out of there, no surprises. Now, here's the problem. It is a large device that you have to make room for on a counter. It doesn't seem like you can just unplug it, put it in a pantry or something like that and take it out when you need it like you can other devices because it needs to stay cold. Second problem is it's a device that only does one thing and it retails right now for $279. And that's on sale at Amazon. That's a lot of money for a device that just does one thing and takes up all that space. Now the third problem though, and this is where it gets really expensive. Let's say someone gives it to you as a gift and it's free. Right? Holiday gift, cure it cold, enjoy. Each of these boxes comes with four pods in it. These cost four dollars. So it's a dollar per drink. At the store, I can get two liters of Coca-Cola for 99 cents. Two liters versus one eight ounce glass of Coca-Cola for a dollar. The mixers are $5.49 for four. And there's people on Amazon reselling these things. So on Amazon, you're getting four Coca-Cola pods for $14.34. That's $3.59 per glass of Coca-Cola, plus the price of the machine versus 99 cents for two liters. That is where I'm having an issue with the current cold. Now, if you're a baller, go get it. If you're down for more than just Coca-Cola, you wanna have a mixture of different options for making your cold drink, then I can kind of see it because it's not just a two liter of Coca-Cola anymore. It's you want a Coca-Cola. Cola, you want a virgin mojito, this guy wants Diet Coke, this guy wants root beer, everybody can get their own drink out of this. That I can see as cool and they have plenty more than what I have here. But yeah, just something to think about on pricing. Does it do the job though? Yes it does. So if that's what you're wondering, the answer, what I found so far trying three different pods is an unequivocal yes, the Cure Cold makes a great drink. That's it for our Keurig Cold review, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments below. If you like what you saw today, leave me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, not feeling the Keurig Cold, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. But either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you're notified of any future videos and also get notified when we launch a new giveaway. We're doing giveaways very regularly now. We pretty much have a giveaway going at all times. So be sure to hit the gadget giveaways playlist so you can see what we're giving away right now. You can just go and enter and maybe walk away with a new gadget for watching this video. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Andrew Edwards. I'll catch you in the next video.